Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be putting this brand new sending unit into the Corvette. Got my little bag of goodies here, my little sock, a couple clamps, gasket. This all comes complete. This was like 120 bucks stainless steel. So, and I'll tell you why we're replacing it here in just a minute. Hang tight, guys. Okay, so we're replacing this because this wire here for the sending unit has rotted off. This could all be cleaned up fine. Um, this is your sending unit. This is what, as this goes up, it puts more juice into the fuel gauge. As it goes down, it gets less juice. So what this does is... Um, Like this is in like this, okay? And this is like towards the bottom of the tank. As you put fuel in, this raises up. When you get up to full tank, it goes clear up there. That's what makes your gas gauge register. Um, yeah, this this was a little rusty. It could have been cleaned up, but that wire broke off right there. You can't replace these. You got to replace the whole tank. That's why I got a new one. So, and I got a uh, like I said, a stainless steel one. Um, I'm going to wipe my hands off here and I'm going to take you over and I'm going to show you the inside of that tank okay guys so I'm going to try to get you in here I'll put my bore scope down in here but it's not the best it was like a $15, $12 bore scope or something but I don't know how well you can see that like I said let me get my bore scope out and we'll stick it down in there but not a drop of rust in there guys remember that one guy came in hey big big problems here or something like that Ooh. big trouble right. come here gas tanks gotta go well that's not up to me that's up to the buyer it's a project car no I'm just telling you if the gas tank is shot okay, it's all full well, of rust you know I don't know much about the car. I had it on once. That's it. I, I, I appreciate that. You know, I, you can pick it apart all day long, you know, but I don't care if it sells or not. Whether it needs a gas tank or I don't care what it needs. If somebody wants it for a project car, it's not a weekend deal. Right. I get, I get that. I'm just letting you know that the gas tank is shot. Well, if I'm going to keep it, I'll keep that in mind, but I'm not going to keep it. Okay. All right, very good. Listen, I don't mean to upset you. I really don't. Look, I'm just... you know, every day somebody comes by picking a park. Look, okay, it needs this, it needs that. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay? That's why it's a project car. It's right. not something you want to pay $4,000 for and drive down the fucking road. Nope. Ain't going to happen. You know? I mean, it's exactly. a project car. Exactly. So it needs gas tank? Well, then it needs gas tank. But it's not... A, I, I can't rebuild the fucking car. And totally restore and sell it for four grand. Of and course, I'm not going to. Of course you can't. I, nobody's saying that. Nobody is saying that. I don't care what it needs. I'm telling you everything I know about it, and that's it. And I appreciate it. It's a used car. That's it. It's a project car. You're probably going to run into stuff I don't know about. But that's not up to me. That's up to the buyer. I'm telling you what I know about. But that was just one thing I wanted to check was the, was the fuel tank, what the situation was. Well, you, you, I suppose you like, she said it had a couple of years before they moved it over here. So that's always a concern. Today, the Obama County does. You know, whatever. You don't be angry with me, okay? I mean, I'm a person that don't pick the fucking car apart and expect you to think you're going to drag it out of here for a hundred bucks because it ain't going to happen. I don't have to sell it. I'll eat just as good tonight as I did last night. Yeah. I don't I don't need to sell. Okay. If it don't sell, that's fine. You can sit there rot. I don't care. Okay. Not a problem. You know, I started working my dad's junkyard at ten years old. I'm NSC certified on about everything you can get certified on. So I don't need to hear a bunch of bullshit about what the fucking car needs, what it's gonna take, because I already know. And if somebody's interested in it for a project, they're gonna know too. Exactly. 
Exactly. Which I would I would be a, approaching this just as that. So it's just a finding. It's just something I just found. Was okay. Good. Well, you know, well, okay, I don't care. It's going to need a tank. So it's just Good. something else to factor into it. That's all. Well, then factor into it. Right. I don't care. I really don't. You know, I, I had an offer, a thousand dollars, but I can't pay you for two more months. Can you hold it for me? Fuck that. I'm not, you know, no, no. it is what it is. Four grand, take it or leave it. I don't care. It's a project. It's not something you won't put together in two days. Okay. Yeah, by smelling it, he told me, just by smelling that, that that was full of rust. Well, as you can see, it's not. So, let me get my bore scope down in there. Hopefully you get the idea how clean that tank is full of rust now I had mentioned that You know it looked to me like someone put a new tank in but didn't put a new uh, sending unit in I can't get over how clean that tank is I'm just wondering if he didn't replace the tank and stick this old junky thing back down in there I'd mentioned the other day because that came and her mom asked what's what's that for and Monkey said well, that's for the Corvette. She said what's that? And I told her, you know, that's a sending unit for the uh, fuel tank for to tell you how much, you know, for to work your gas gauge. And she goes, oh, because she said, I'm thinking right before we parked that thing, he put a new fuel tank in it. She said, I don't know if he put that thing in it, but she said, I'm almost positive he put a new tank in there. And it sure does look like a new tank on the inside. Now, granted, they're coated, but still... That thing is not full of rust. It's all full of rust. I did wipe it out a little bit. There was a little bit of dirt. Um, a couple little drops of, of uh, moisture, like water. Um, but there wasn't no water water in it. When I drained the gas out of it, of course, the gas was seven years old, at least. And, uh, and it didn't look that great. But I drained some i put some into a clear plastic bottle a water drinking bottle there wasn't any there wasn't any water in it there was a little dirt and i think it came off that old sending unit i think it was coming from this so but there there wasn't any water to speak of there was a little bit of moisture when i looked down in there i could see a couple little drops but like I said, there wasn't any any rust. There, it's all full of rust. there was a little bit of dirt. I could get my hand down that little square hole and I could reach all corners of that tank. I wiped it out. Um, like I said, there was a little bit of dirt. There was there was no rust. Let, let me get this thing and I'll show you. You know, that's what came out of it. That's it. Like I said, a little bit of dirt. There was no rust particles on this. It's all full of rust. Um, I think that was the worst spot. That was the first part, first spot I stuck down in there. Okay, so enough of rattling on. Let's put this in here. I'm going to grab a, a full charge battery. And I'll just speed you up through this. Um, yeah, we'll get that in there and that'll be done. And that'll be good to go. And then all we got left is up front. Uh, there's a few things I got to do. I got to that bolt hole on the header is uh, it's cross threaded. It's not stripped. So I, I think once I pull that header clear off, it's only got the three bolts at the bottom for the collector. Once I pull that header clear off, I believe I can get a tap in there and straighten them threads out. We'll see. If not, there's a couple other. Um, remedies that you can do that do work and I don't like to do them but I have and they worked fine uh, but we'll get to that when we get to that part so let me get a battery and let's go ahead and let's get this drop down in here get the fuel pump in and then we'll button this up and this will be ready to go okay I'm checking the gauge now I'm going to go back and lift and lower that float so you can watch that gauge
See how it went down? Now I'm going to raise it back up. And there it goes up. All right. Come on, keep going. There we go. Now they make them lazy like that. They make them slow so that way if you're going around a turn or something, your fuel gauge is not jumping up and down. That's why they do that. So let's check the fuel pump now. All right, as soon as this car goes past, I'll go ahead and kick the key on and this should come on. Whoops. This pump should come on for a couple seconds and then go out. And here we go. And it did. All right. Whoops, I'm going to unhook that battery. And I got to put my sock on. And then we're going to put it in there. So stick around, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to do this the best I can without getting in your way too awful bad. So I put the sock on that way because that's the way that white plastic thing in the bottom goes. Uh-oh. Don't try not to bend that little metal rod because then your fuel gauge will be off one way or the other. And you don't want it reading a half a tank when you're on empty. Okay, so this is down in here. I put some Vaseline on these bolt holes. So, like I said, I I said before I thought this had been out. I was right. There's nine of these bolts that go around here. Now this car, once we drive it, I'm going to pull this off, back off. There's only four screws to hold this on. I'll probably repaint this. And uh, I will detail down inside of all this. Um, so, alright, let me speed you up through this. Because it's kind of boring. Well, actually, you see what I'm doing, right? I'm putting nine of these bolts around there. Okay, so each, you can see where they're going to go. They're going to go around there. I'm going to go and put them in so you guys can be out of the sun. It's another 100 degree day. Okay, so I'm sweating inside the tank. All right, let me get that on there. Okay guys, as you see, we've got this all in here. Now I gotta try to get this jam down in here. It's for, like, if you spill anything or whatnot. So yeah, I, I knew this had been out. I could, I could tell because them, them bolts are not gonna be crooked from the factory. Number one, I, I just knew that this thing had been out before. There's that. Now, this gets put on here. I know, it's dirty, but damn thing's been sent for seven years, so. These are just little, little screws. Little Phillips headed screws. I'm gonna see if I got any uh, better ones than that. If not, I'll pick some up and then we can put them in later. Um, so let me see what I got. I think I found some that are a little bit better. Uh, shoot, I gotta get my screwdriver now. Okay. It's just gonna go in there. See, they got that countersunk. All 
I'll keep the old ones that way I can maybe go to the uh, uh, what do you call it the um, hardware store maybe find some stainless or something like I said this is all going to be it's all going to be cleaned up I got two more back here oh that scared me my air hose And this thing is done. Well, the car is not done by any means, but the back part of it here is done. Alright. Put our cap on here. You bark it's me, dude. Bruno barking at me. Now we'll blow some of this out. Watch your ears and eyes. put these up I had to get two new well I got three you know two to use and one to lose I had to get two new clamps these are getting thrown away well like I said I bought three one of them was still good so I'm gonna keep these all right let me get these tools and stuff picked up I'll be back with you so there it is this trunk will not stay on here the uh, luggage rack will because the reason why luggage racks on here is because you have to have it for your trunk because there's no trunk in these things you got some storage space back in up inside of here uh, but you can put stuff in there it's got a handle that's carried into your hotel room whatnot but that won't stay on there let's check our gas gauge should read empty Why is it not focusing? Anyway. Yep, it's reading empty. See if I can hear the fuel pump kick on. Okay, it did. All right, now. Uh, all right, guys. I only got four minutes left on this card, so. I'm gonna call it quits here. We're done with that part of it. You know, I know it wasn't much of a how-to. I'm just bringing you along with me as we try to get this thing back roadworthy again. So that being said, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Maybe it did help you in a way. Some of you maybe, but you know. Anyway, again, thanks for watching, Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. It's very hot out. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye, guys, and take care.